Shay Cormac is an assassin. But he is unlike the ones you have used for your entertainment products in the past. I believe Shay may be the most important assassin who ever lived. Your research will help me achieve something I have wanted for a very long time. Shay's story may have something to offer you as well. There's another server we can access to get to the next chunk of Shay's memories. Excellent. I'm gonna need the numbskull back if we're gonna proceed. Your next task is clear. I got tired of waiting for Melanie's stupid repair crew, so I got this piece of shit working well enough to get you to the lobby and back. I'll get your animus prepped while you're downstairs. I've added the location shit. for the next server I on forgot. your map. The server is behind a level one security lock. I have granted you level one security clearance. I trust there will be no further delays. Great. Now you can get into the server room. Once you restore the servers, I'll load the next set of Shay's memories to your animus. All points ready. Begin. Go, go, go! Who are you? Don't you touch her! Oh, for God's sake, restrain him! You, give me the child. Oh, shush now. You all right? Elena! Calm down, Mr. Berg. I promise you I won't hurt your daughter. Who are you? My name is Warren Vidic. I work for Abstergo Industries. You quit the Uti Yaga Regiment and became a freelance mercenary in order to afford better care for Elena's cystic fibrosis. How is that working out for you? Arkane! I have an offer for you. I don't work for people I don't know. It's not that kind of offer. I'm going to remove an item from my pocket. What is that? This little pill? <laughs> it's actually for her. Go on, little one. Have some medicine. Stop! There now. Isn't that better? This pill will cure her. It isn't on the market, but it can be yours if you agree to participate in a little training program I put together. What does Abstergo need with someone like me? Oh, you won't be working for Abstergo. However, if you perform, Abstergo could work for you. I want one thing before I agree. Name it. That one there. He upset my daughter. I understand. Gentlemen, release Mr. Berg. Jenkins, give him your gun. What? Now! Yes, sir. Satisfied? It's a start. Great job, Nuskull. Data we have is pretty raw, but it's enough to move forward. Get back up here. Double time. It looks like restoring servers also clears the virus from some of the other systems. You are making excellent progress. So glad I went to you. I'm eager to see what Shay will show us next. Level 1 clearance will also let you into some of the other parts of the building mm. as well. How about now? You need to... No? Stretch your legs in between anime sessions. No. Shit. Why isn't this working? But have you tried it, though? No, the story's told in rhyme. It doesn't sound like my thing. These hand-drawn animations are fantastic! 
We're making good progress here. If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come. to see you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Finnegan, was it? Sweet Mother Mary. Have we taken in the village, idiot? Barry! Remember, Shay, I'm Cassidy, and this is... Barry! <laughs> You've been ill for weeks. I, I hate to have been a burden. See? He's a civilized fella. Aye, for a clumsy deckhand. Probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? <sighs> you wretch, how dare you! Shut up, woman! Leave her alone. Now what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you fool! Well, I was going to, but... Now you've made things personal. To dance, but... Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, oh, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not harming citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. Don't you look a right, gentlemen? Gas. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. 
the manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Huh. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building.
death, Burke. What are you waiting for? Kill him! We have a clear shot. We own this town, boy. One shot goes <laughs> business. Don't make this difficult for yourselves. That will help us smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here. Reclaim what they have stolen. Now let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. 
Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. How so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream, he and I. That of making the world a better place. His survival is not enough. Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern, Master Cormac. I merely assist. In the kingdom of Portugal. Tens of thousands of souls were lost. The Royal Ribeira Palace... Ribbon. See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I've arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. I suspect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac. strikes me as an honorable man, someone who wants to do what's right, and he may have a point. Everything that has happened, what I've done, I can't change the past, but maybe there's a future for me here, and maybe, just maybe, I can do what's right this time. I should head back to the Finnegans, let them know I'm fine. Shay! Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I... I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist. And he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please, tell Master Gist to join me there. Did you hear, dearie? They are hanging a man in the Old Fort. Oh, it would be a shame to miss that. <laughs> Christopher Guest, I'm Shay Cormac. Charmed! 
But what are you doing here if you don't mind the asking? The colonel sent me. Aha! Good show, Shay. Ran them right out of their own den. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. The Morgan? What is she doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. Keep your wits about you, Shay. Criminals are everywhere, and most of them look just like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. <clears throat> I tell you what, I shall find a new crew for your vessel, in case you have to leave post haste.
She's a fine ship. And true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's... long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. I'll come aboard. As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. Splendid!